Most of me SDRNs have now withdrawn to their home world. Maybe they are thinking to themselves that at home, they will be safe. Maybe they believe that we are not a terrestrial species, and that we solely seek to drive them out of the voids. But in that case, they think wrong. They have taunted us for too long already. Their last day is upon them. As I speak, preparations for a full-scale orbital bombardment are already underway. Most of our vessels have entered the atmosphere and are wiping out the last remnants of the SDRN fleet. Today is the day we will exterminate them once and for all. It seems the SDRNs have gathered everything they can spare in an attempt to block the bulk of our fleet, high in the upper atmosphere of their home world. They have no chance to win this. Our forces are at least twice as strong as theirs. Therefore, we think that this is an attempt to buy time to evacuate their planet. But it is no concern. The majority of the fleet will see that none escape, while the Akrotiri and the Kumasa will wipe out those that stand between us and executing the bombardment. Brothers and sisters, it will be up to you to safeguard our vessels. Engage all of the fighters and bombers they've sent against us. The Fang bombers are the most dangerous threat, so deal with them before they're close within range. Concern yourselves not with our war vessels. The Akrotiri's mighty cannon will swiftly and decisively quiet them from the farm. They must be very well aware that they have nothing to lose. This makes that this battle will be dangerous, pilots. Although they have no chance of winning it, they will undoubtedly try to take as many of us with them in their final hour. Do not give them this chance. It would be a pity to be killed while the war is nearly finished.
This day will go down in history, brothers and sisters. The SD Arian vessels you destroyed were the last ones that could pose a threat to our forces here in SDH. They now have nothing left but mere cruisers and smaller vessels. When the orbital bombardment has been executed, the SD Arians will have nothing more to live from, let alone to develop themselves. They will be purged until the last single being has been erased. The names of you, me, and all those who serve our fleet will be carved in history. We will be remembered for our heroic action in this war. Our species will remember us as the ones who cleansed the voids from an unworthy race. This medal, granted to all of us by the Council, will serve as proof and reminder of that. Yet again, we have emerged as the dominant species. Yet again, we have proven we cannot be defeated the war driven back. Our time will never come, for we know no limits and our empire is immortal. The bombardment will soon begin. Join me if you desire to watch it happen and witness the spectacle of the moment. Because before long, this world, and the beings that inhabit it, will be no more. Once again, we claim victory. The Asterians are no more. They found, they fought, they failed, and they fell. Their fleets are crushed, their citizens slain. Their planet lies in ruin. Nevermore will a single member of their species gaze upon the stars. Once again, we have shown to all watching eyes the folly of opposing our invincible empire. There is to be celebration, but we are still at war. Even at this very moment, our forces are engaged in systems beyond our subspace portals. But we do not fear them. We will strike at them. The strong need no rest, and their enemies will fall all the same. May the prosperity of our glorious empire outlast all those who oppose it. <laughs>